Hi everybody. Hi there. Um, this intro is about a very special video uh, when we were in a Boonesboro State Park in Boonesboro, Kentucky. And, um, you know, one of the things we promised we would do when we started this channel is uh, we're going to share everything that we do with y'all. Uh, might be helpful to people who come in. Our mistakes, um, everything we do. And, but that also includes when we have a great time someplace, we don't want to edit and, and chop out a bunch of stuff to fit a certain time frame. And we certainly don't want to bore you all to death by making an hour and 45 minute one. So uh, with that being said, um, this video is going to come to you in parts. Mm -hmm. So this particular part is going to cover a little bit about the campground that we stayed in, as well as some places that we visited in the Richmond, Kentucky area, which was just a little bit south of the campground. So um, it really was a great experience. It was fantastic. And uh, I think we have some RV stories in there as well. But uh, anyway, this is part one. Hope you all enjoy it. And thanks for tuning in. And if you haven't already, we appreciate it if you could subscribe and any comments that you have, please send them our way. We'd love to read them. Thanks again, and here comes the show. See ya. Bye. Hi, I'm Sandy. And I'm Ed. And this is General, our totally awesome water dog. We used to live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, but one day we found both of ourselves unemployed. So we decided to take a chance. We sold everything, bought a trailer, and left to explore America. We're learning as we go along, but we still make mistakes. But we get a lot of things right, too. So come join us as we learn to RV full-time, explore America, and share in our exciting journey of discovery. Our, our next, next adventure, adventure is just over the hill. hill. Visit to the Lexington, Kentucky area, we stayed at Fort Boonesboro State Park which in addition to having a campground with over 140 sites, it also is the location of the historic Fort Boonesboro. This is the, the end of the Wilderness Trail where Daniel Boone brought the pioneers up from Eastern Tennessee through the Cumberland Gap and into Kentucky back in 1775. Settled into our campsite, we decided to go out for dinner, and the closest restaurant to the campground actually was Halls on the River. So that's where we went, and it's, it's kind of awesome that we chose to go to that restaurant because it has a lot of history to it in itself. Um, this restaurant was built as Holder's Tavern by Captain John Holder in 1781. So it's been around quite a long time, and it is an awesome building huge huge but beautiful on the inside and the food was really good on our first day of exploring we visited whitehall now whitehall was built in 1798 by general green clay who served in both the revolutionary war and the war of 1812. his youngest son cassius inherited the home and the acreage around it when he passed away now cassius married Mary Jane Warfield in 1833 and they had 10 children but in the 19, 1860s um, Cassius was appointed as uh, the ambassador to, to Russia by President Lincoln so he spent most of his time over in Russia and while he was gone Mary Jane decided to remodel and add on to the house so um, you can kind of see the original house in the center had very high ceilings and the addition that Mary Mary Jane put onto it had a little lower ceilings so it kind of ended up with this house being like a split level you go half a flight of stairs and then you turn and go another half a flight and it had a lot of different levels but it was really cool taking the tour through it um, most of the furniture and the decorations in the house have actually been donated by the Clay family over several years. Uh, again, they had 10 children.
There's also a smaller building out behind the house and off to the side a little bit that is um, has been converted over to half half kitchen and then the other half they have a display of sewing stuff uh, like spinning and weaving so that was pretty interesting and the kitchen I think to date this is my favorite cooking hearth this place is huge I absolutely love this kitchen With both of us being big Civil War buffs, um, we also wanted to visit the uh, Richmond battlefield for the Battle of Richmond, Kentucky. And uh, we were headed in that direction and we kind of tripped across this visitor center for the Richmond battlefield. And we're so glad we did. Um, they had a bunch of informational signs out in the front yard along with the cannon. And there was also this really cool Masonic monument dedicated to all the soldiers that fought. So that was pretty awesome. Inside the building, it was amazing. They put so much work into this and had so much information. It was just an awesome, awesome museum.